Hi, everybody in the Routines group. I hope you're having a great second winter in Ohio. As I say, with all four seasons, it's always a great place to do skincare, understand, and switch it up, just like the leather. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the eye conceal and why I included that in eye care. Eye conceal is Image's neutral toned foundation or concealer, so called eye conceal. It has an SPF of 30, which is really awesome. So I'm going to apply and talk to you about it. So this would be just like an everyday routine. We're not doing any super contouring, but I do want to disguise, you know, any breakouts that I've had. I think it was like up here, there was a cystic one. Because every time I say, like, oh, I'm getting a lot of cystic breakouts and everything, like, one will pop up. It happens to estheticians, too. And I could use a little bit of dermaplaning or microdermabrasion over that area just to get rid of those cells. So what I would do is take, um, I'm using three eye conceal colors today, so you get to see it. So one is the lightest, which is going to be concealer around my eyes, which is most important. The first one I'm going to use is natural, which is um, just, like, a step maybe a little bit deeper than my skin tone and then beige is the last one and we'll do just a light contour to um camouflage or conceal any breakouts I have down there so this first one is natural and this is a titanium and zinc oxide base so it doesn't have any chemical sunscreens what that means is that it's going to work instantly so the second that you step outside it is working where chemical sunscreens you've got to wait about 15 20 minutes because they will actually absorb the rays so this is reflecting the uv rays and that's how it works you'll also see i have a lot going on my face today this is a great uh, day to do this video my eyebrows are healing from uh, powder brows. So there's actually a line under there and under there. My skin's healing over it and then it will emerge um, in you know a few days to a few weeks. So I am a little bit dry here so we're not going to be going necessarily over that area. Uh, and then I do have two different colored eyelashes on because it's Valentine's week. So we went a little bit fun. I love the hot pink. I wear those a lot. So that was the natural. I just used it as a concealer. I'm going to be in the dark all day, so I'm doing facials all day, but um, sometimes it's fun, you know, just to show you guys. This is beige, so this is quite a bit deeper than my natural skin tone. And then I'm just going to use this to do a light contour around my chin. Just make myself feel a little lifted. And then sometimes I'll go disguise those nose pores a little bit. And I do have bigger nose pores. A lot of people do. The ones over here are a little bit softer. So this is a diffuse look. And again, eye conceal is neutral. My skin pools yellow, so I will put my concealer over it. So almost done. My last step is to use the porcelain. There we go. I set them all out. I'm still looking. All right. And then this one is the lightest tone that they offer. And this is the important part to me. So this skin around the eye area is really thin as we use retinols, we try to help reduce those signs of aging or be more graceful. So it happens. Okay, and Amanda, if you were watching this, so Amanda uh, microbladed and powder browed my eyebrows. I'm really trying not to get it up there, but it is um, a zinc sunscreen. So there's a little bit of mineral collagen. This isn't going to really affect pigment as much as if I put like my anti-aging serum over top of my eyebrows. So we want to keep those. So as they set, if I go up there just a little bit, it'll protect them, but I don't wanna cover up my eyebrows either. So one of the steps that I do sometimes is just use a yellow base concealer. I don't think my dark circles are that bad, but remember I have an eight month old. So um, by putting makeup on, it helps me get in that mindset because every time a client comes in, I don't want to give them like half a facial. Like you are coming in, I am grounding myself, I'm pulling out your energy and just looking awake, I think really, really helps. Um, also, I have to do bright colors. I have to dress in bright colors. You'll see me wear a lot of black. Um, but that's, again, my skin tone and my eyes. So you can see just, you might see a little bit of a difference. I might look a little bit darker, too dark, a little bit orange, um, because this pulls neutral. So 
as you can see, it's not like a really bright neutral. There's not a whole lot of like red and yellow going on where you're like, oh, Melanie, you're Cheeto because I would not like to be. So I think it really helps just pull everything together. And again, that SPF over the eye area is great. Now I've colored lashes on today, so I'm not applying eyeshadow, but this is like the best eyeshadow primer that I've ever used. And it's anti-aging skincare in a bottle. So, you know, I, for somebody who is like 25 and under, I mean, I don't really know that I would recommend this beyond being an eyeshadow primer if you're doing makeup. Um, but as you get older, yes, skincare does get more professional, a little bit pricier, and then we rely on all that new technology. So I'm just going to finish up here. Um, this is a Temp2 foundation. This is airbrush, but I'm just applying it to my face. So you can see pulling, it's pulling the undertones a little bit more. And yes, I did put eye conceal over these places and these places. That very first color I did, so across the cheeks and the jawline. So I'm just going to lightly blend that in if I feel like I went a little <laughs> too much on the jawline, which I'm applying this on my phone. I usually have a mirror behind me and I don't. So that is a fun time. So there we go. I'm going to apply this here and then I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighter and let my beautiful microblading heal. And I'm about just about two weeks out. So this is what eyebrows look like um, after powder brows, about two weeks. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, SPF, one of the things I did want to say is that 30 is the highest you have to go. We look at the SPF like 50, 80, 100 with all those great chemical protectants in it your body's going to work the same at 30 as it is at 50 as it is at 80. That is a fun science. I'll definitely talk to you about that a little bit more. Uh, if you guys are interested in it and you're like, okay, really? 30 is all I have to go? Yes, zinc, titanium dioxide, those minerals that are reflecting the sun rays instead of absorbing them and then just kind of processing them through their chemical like oxybenzone, that type of thing they're very effective. So you don't have to go, you know, chemical all the way. You can use something lighter, more natural. So hopefully this uh, helped you understand eye conceal and why it falls into the eye category for me. So here's my final result in natural sunlight in front of work. And um, you can see how the eye conceal does blend pretty well, just being a neutral color um, and checking it out. So thank you so much for watching this and I hope you know why I love titanium dioxide and zinc as a sun protectant and also a wind protectant in the winter. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you're enjoying eye care if you're not. Just take care.